This is the very first virtual MMA championship. And here are the rules. Three minutes of MMA shadow boxing. Combining techniques in a three minute period. Striking, takedown, ground control, or ground and pound. Fighters will be judged on the following. Skills and technique, transitions, and endurance. The judges are as follows. Ole Baggio Lorson, the Iron Fist from Legacy Gym. Mark Anthony Munoz, the Filipino wrecking machine, former UFC fighter. Prof Juan Mercado, peak performance coach, professional combat athlete coach of Puerto Rico. Guy Chase, CEO of Guy Chase Academy of Martial Arts. Eric Paulson, founder, combat submission wrestling, and SDX kickboxing. And now, let me introduce the fighter in the blue corner, weighing in at 115 pounds and representing Kafaguay MMA from Sablan Benguet. Here is Jerry Guzman. And his opponent in the red corner, also weighing in at 115 pounds, representing Team ERS Pond MMA from Pasi, Ilo, Ilo City. Put your hands together for Justin Somido. Fighters are ready. Let's get this party started. Jerry Guzman, training, in this, training in this setup Not couldn't be good. any wow. better. <laughs> Ganda naman ng setup ah, niya. Oh man. Nice. So, outside Alfredo. Mm. Good combinations. Okay. This is way better. I like yeah. this. Setup palang maganda na. Okay, uh, no kick, follow through. Very good. Nice. And this time he has this ring general ship of course now, which is good. Mo na kinik sila dun sa uh, mga suggestions na dun last time. So far so good. Okay, that is a good chain of attack. Bit of flow than last time, but again. Okay, so I see feints, I see movement. Okay, that's good. Hey, right, jab, back fist, mm. very good, not bad. It'll work, it'll work. Yes. Well, these are moves that you can use in the fight. Yep, that is correct. <laughs> Feeling ko, ano, sinapuso nila yung mga feedback natin Oo. last time. Oo. Tapos ito kita... May depends ano din, no? Oo. Took it a step further, oh. Eh, mountain range na na eh. Mountain range na, no. Hanap eh. Kaka in get your view, ah. Oo. Di ba siya nilalamig dyan? Di ba? <laughs> okay. Take down. Straight to mount. Ground and pound. That's good. Okay. Okay. Oh. 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 So that's good. That's a really good arm bar. Yeah. Good arm bar execution. So approach. Take down. That is good. I like it. Ground and pound. Ribs to the head. Okay. Mm. This is way more realistic. Yes, yeah, very more realistic. So we're here, we're up, okay, arm bar. And then leg lock, leg lock. Feeling ko, I assume natin na leg lock yun. Kasi kung, <laughs> <laughs> kasi kung arm, <laughs> kasi kung arm bar. Kasi kung arm bar. Oh, Oy. <laughs> Oy, the, arm, the arm bar yun, ha? Oh, maganda. Good, good oh, yeah. Okay, this is an arm triangle. Good execution. Very good. I like it. So, boom. Approach there. Mm. Yeah, yan yung sinasabi natin yeah, last time. Nice you have set to set up. it up. Yo, you have to set it up. Very good. Boom. Boom. Good. 
Uy. Ayun, Uy. Nag, nag-upa na upa <laughs> defense. Okay, oh. triangle leading to an arm bar. Okay, that is good. Mm-hmm. The transition very very doable and it's very realistic. Good job, Jerry Guzman. I like it. I like it very much. Uh the, the transitions were good. Everything was uh everything was more realistic. Right? So this is what happens when you change your movements and you include your defense, yung mga feints. May nakita na tayo, we receive feints na. Uh, be mindful again, okay? Be mindful again. Uh, treat the bags as your opponent so it has a head and it has legs. Uh, buti na lang, feeling ko hindi, buti na lang parang hindi tumama. Hindi tumama Muntik. yung ulo. Munti ka na. Pero had that knee landed on the head, you would have been disqualified. Pero nevertheless, that was a really good round. That was it. That, that was really good, Doc. I like num- I like the setup of their gym. It's very rustic. Oh. It's very rustic, old school. Yan yung mga, ano eh, yung, uh, alam mo na, mga hindi mo kukwit sa laban yung mga nagtatraining oh. sa ganitong klaseng gym eh. Mga they, they lack the actual tools, pero they have for they make, the hard oh, they, make, oh, they make do with what they have. Tsaka yan ah, punching bag mo, gulong. Oh, Titigas talaga ka maumo dyan. Masakit yan. I, I remember, I, used, I went through a phase of training na ang heavy bag was ano. Talaga, mm-hmm. Ang heavy bag talaga. Like heavy bag talaga siya. Kasi gulong yan eh. Yeah. That was really good. So far so good. A lot of good combinations. Power shots. Power shots are good. Head movement. We're move, he's moving side to side. Mm. Okay, Isn't follow good you? follow through on the lead kicks and then the power kicks may follow through. That is good. Galing okay. nung uh, ginagawa niya na it looks like he has a simulation na yung camera, yung kaharap niya nakalaban niya. Yep. Galing, galing. Ang galing ah. Oo nga no. Di ba? <laughs> Ang galing, galing, galing. So this is Very good. this is now we're talking about actual shadow boxing kasi di ba when you shadow box you're looking in front of the mirror. Mm. So the purpose of shadow boxing is or the, the main reason why you shadow box in front of a mirror is so that you can mimic or you can actually see your reactions your movements so this is exactly what your opponents are seeing so he's doing it right very good observation also way better than last time yep transitions are good again uh, this virtual MMA shadow boxing competition is brought to you by the great amazing people of MMA Davao and as you can see, we are here. Oh. It goes for a takedown. Very good. Just go straight to mount. Good transition. Ground and pound. Maintains position. Oh. We go to the side. Okay. Okay. Headshots. Okay. Went for a. Okay. That was a Kimura that Kimura. failed. Kimura that failed. Then Kimura again. Lumalaban. Lumalaban. Man. May ano, may, may resistance. May resistance yung opponent natin. Okay, very good. Okay. Okay, that was good. We're going back to mount. Good transition so far. Good mount maintenance. Good body positioning. Pero tilting towards the side masyado. When you tilt towards the side, it's, oh, madudulas yan. It's gonna be easier for your opponents to bump you off. Okay, he's done. Um, I like the transitions. I like the the, the power and the intent. Tapos, uh, just like what JC said, the the actual mimicking of an entire uh, opponent right in front of you. So that again, as previously discussed, that's how we. That is the reason behind uh, training and shadow boxing. Uh, I like the takedown. Now again, we're gonna go back to our previous feedback to everyone. When you are in mount, that is one of the most dominant positions to be in, especially in whether in. Make sure you have full it, control. <laughs> oh, so you're so you're in a very dominant position. You don't really need to go back to side mount. Okay, so from the mount, you have several transitions. You can go for your submissions. You can keep going on your ground and pound. You have to have ground and pound combinations. Uh, previously, uh, he. Medyo is tilting to one side. When you tilt on one side, it simply means that you're putting your weight on your knee and not on your foot. Yeah. Tapos, 
uh, most of the shots are coming from at uh, the strength of your shots are coming from your arms and your forearms uh, later on mapapagod ka rin yan masusunog ka and if you're tilting on one side it's gonna be easier for your opponent to reverse the position JC uh, initially I was yung sa, sa tilting uh, from side to side initially I was thinking na I, I was kind of giving him the benefit of the doubt na baka since yung ibang movements niya mm. is parang kunyari lumalaban yung kalaban mm-hmm. niya uh, para tinutulak siya pag gilid or what yun ang isa sa I don't know maybe yun yung intent niya uh, pero yun iba yung nakikita natin pero yun nga I mean usually when you're on mount uh, I don't see the reason why aalis ka pa usually when you're on mount and you're in full control tatapusin mo na eh and any any way to finish the fight you're gonna do that pero siya parang maalis siya sa position for that and I don't see any reason why he's doing it parang uh, hindi makita yung chain no man no. Uh, me. <laughs> oh, but feeling ko tama ka hindi feeling ko tama ka yung, yung parang he was okay. trying to he was probably trying to emulate what would happen if the mm-hmm. opponent would try to bump him off yeah oh. that was a really good observation that was really good that was really yeah. good thank you doc actually both were pretty pretty good in their in in, in the work the thing is that if you're gonna do the, the 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 shadow boxing it's important to really visualize and fight as if you're fighting uh in, because many people shadow box in a more relaxed manner and then there are people that shadow box with bad intentions so the thing is that uh to get the most out of the out of the shadow boxing out of the training uh, it's important to put as much of those intentions and skills into your shadow boxing because while you're fighting many of your strikes are going to miss and you have to keep the, uh, throwing as hard as you can as precise as you can and if you if you miss that you can return again both showed great endurance that both showed good good, uh, good skills the only uh, the main difference uh in 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 this case uh was some details on the on the on the on the technical side of striking which the difference was really small the biggest difference was that attitude that that snap that uh that those intentions that many times those bad intentions that that mindset beats people even if the other person is more technical so it it, it if we're gonna be competitive about uh, about this, you have to show with your with your with your shadow MMA, with your shadow striking and your shadow grappling, that you are effective. And uh, there there was a slight edge to just at the Justin Sumido showed a slight edge in that uh, in in that department. So the uh, in uh, the uh, both were very sound in their striking. Both were very, very sound in their in their ground and pound and and uh, takedown t- uh, technique, but that edge in the in the in the in the striking and the uh, and the positional control uh, went uh, slightly to Justin Sumido, in, in in my opinion. Okay, so the first guy, I think. Well, I think that I mean it, it was he put in some hard explosive work. It I, it was obvious to see there was a lot of things that he didn't know. Like his shot, I I also think he only did one shot. Yeah, I mean, what to say really? I. His his the the best thing that that guy had going was his uh, his boxing and and that that's pretty much it. That's 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 all I gotta say for him. He looked like uh, yeah he was in good shape, but he didn't really know what he was doing. Once he took it down, took the, the bag down, and uh, uh, I mean. Uh, the guy looked huh. like he was uh, strong, standing. That's definitely his his force. So uh, he was moving well. Um, looked like he his thing was power shots. He was dropping 
big uppercuts, big hooks, but he kept throwing them, so he, he looked like he had that in check. The second guy, he I'd say he had a little bit less power than the first guy. The first guy also died, like he got tired because he was he realized he started too hard. But um, the second guy, he was overall like he had a little bit of of everything as far as shadow boxing goes. I mean, he was like. He took down he took down the the bag his shots wasn't very impressive but he he did uh, take down a few times and he went for some different moves so um, yeah the second guy had a better idea of what he was 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 going for and you judged the round for um, I'd say What's his name? Guy number two? Guy number two is uh, Jerry Guzman of Team Cafaguay. Okay, well, that's the guy, Guzman. Guzman took that one. We are here with uh, Filipino Wrecking Machine, Mark Munoz. Mark, what can you say about this, guys? Um, you know, Jerry Guzman um, was uh, showed a lot of good skill. Um One thing I wanted to see him do was more angles um, in his in his striking. Um, so angles like angling off after his combinations, um, faking shots, um, broken timing. You know, so um, it's he was doing uh, the same combinations um, over. And over again, so um, so I was wanting some kind of different combinations, different timings, and uh, you know different shots too for his uh, for his shots for his attacks. Um, and then even on his ground and pound, he uh, he had some good good shots, but um, in order to have some damage, he needs to posture and then land some some good um he needs to posture to get some space between he and his his opponent so he can get good velocity on his punches um and then control and then posture and then strike again so um he had great submissions uh look for the triangle and look for um arm bars um his kicks were great uh so um And also, I'd like to see variety in the kicks too. So, you know, some, um, you know, spinning hill kicks, some teeps. Uh, of course, they did um, head kicks, they did leg kicks. But um, I'd like to see variety on on the on the kicks too. So, um, so Guzman, uh, he uh, did uh, did pretty good. Um, then Samido, um, he. Turned on his punches a little bit more, uh, so he showed more power, more velocity on his on his strikes, um, and uh, uh, he did uh, he did angle a little bit, but um, but not as much I would I would like to see. Um, he shot the same shots for the for his takedown, um, and in his ground and pound he. He postured up and uh, did really well on his ground and pound and control. Um, so, um, so his his striking he did he did really well in his striking and in, in his uh, positions and transitions from the ground. Um, they both had great endurance. Um, we we can't I can't compare that, but uh, but. Uh, yeah, both guys are both guys are good. So, um, if I were to had to give if I were to give it to somebody, I would uh, give it to Samido. Um, so uh, Justin has um, uh, some 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 good energy. He's got some uh, good cardio going, and uh, uh, he's really got some uh, you know good charisma to 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 train hard. It seems. 
Um, but yet, you know, his 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 front leg lacks. It's too telegraphic, and he expresses too much power in the front hand, which you want the front hand actually to be really loose, like a whip, like a whip and a towel. Take a just think of a towel, and you're just you're whipping it like a like a wet towel.、Um, And he concentrates a little bit too much on the rear hand for knockout power overhead. In the、uh, the ground and pound, he wants a little bit more tighter space on the bag. His punches are a little bit too wide on the ground and pound. They have to be a little bit more straighter. So,、uh, but he's got good power. He changed up on his on his stance. He went from an orthodox to a southpaw stance and changed、uh, really well on that level. And then、uh, I would like to see him stay in the southpaw stance for a little bit, and get some shadow boxing in that stance, and then change right back to the orthodox, meaning you know south southpaw being you know right stance and left stance being orthodox. So、um, you know on a on a scale, he's、um, I would say he he's somewhere around a I would say around a, a six because he has a lot of energy. So、um, you know, I'll say somewhere around a five or six,、um, and he's just got some work to do、uh, on his on his、uh, power on his hands. He's got a lot of power. He just doesn't know how to express it. So、um, I think once he gets comfortable, really knowing how to express that power and be a little bit more loose, be more relaxed, a li- lot more relaxed, too much intensity into the shadow boxing. You notice that he, when he got somewhere around a minute and a half into the shadow box, and he started to loosen up more. His footwork got a little bit more smoother, and he has a good, actually,、uh, from a from a stance to a retrieve forward again. So he does a good, you know,、uh, stance, then he, he retrieves and goes for, and, and 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 goes forward again. So he's just got to relax a little bit more. He's got a little bit more too too much power intensity in his punches and in his movement. See, Jerry's a wrestler. <laughs> I can tell you, he 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 likes the ground.、Um, so,、uh, I, you know, but、uh, his, I would say,、uh, you know, his punches were a little short. So,、um, his、um, he wasn't extending his hand. He was really short on his punches, and that just that that is immediate、uh, sign that he's a wrestler. So, in other words, he 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 actually can reach out with his punches. Um, he just doesn't. He, he just doesn't.、Um, what he does is he keeps them short because I think he just has a little bit of insecurity of how to reach with them. And then, um, uh, so I think once he gets used to reaching with them, he's going to be really good. Although I gotta say, for Jerry,、uh, he had really good calmness and he had good footwork. His kicks weren't telegraphic neither.、Um, his ground work was. Was good. He, he had he has good groundwork. He he was tight on the bag. He has diversity, and his punches on the ground, his ground and pound were were a lot tighter there. On the pound and you strike, you don't need a lot of power、uh, to hurt somebody. They can be very short and quick to cut to, to to make the match stop from cuts and 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 from knockouts. So you don't need to really come. You know, coming down from the sky with the punches, you can really just be short with them and be really super effective. But he was tight on the bag, and his diversity, meaning his body positions, what we call body position, the Kyle Gotch system,、uh, was very diverse. So he was he was going from his back to he was going from you know on his stomach. He was you know very diverse on that. He did a good sprawl. He's a little too crouchy. Meaning that his he's not expressing his body as much, and he might be only small anyway. But still, if he he's got to get his body more upright, like a rooster. Don't get crouchy. Don't crouch down like a like a like a caveman. Get your get your get your chest out and your your shoulders up in it. That way, what happens is that you can reach more with your limbs. It allows you to reach more with your kicks and punches. But I would say on a scale. On one to ten, I think he was more like maybe about a six to a seven. You know, he was a little bit more. He was a little bit more up there、um, on that scale. It just he had a little bit more calmer、um, relaxation with his with his、uh, with his shadow boxing. First of all, hats off to these guys for their shadow boxing expertise.、Um, what I saw was、uh, Jerry. 
seems to be more technically enhanced as far as his striking was more technical. He had more takedowns that he was practicing in this in the shadow boxing rather than just one. Um, the ground game, he he mixed it up. His striking uh, on the ground was not as powerful as Justin. Justin was pounding the crap out of that bag. <laughs> Uh, but he went for more submissions and while, while Justin held position and just pounded. So just a little different style there. Um, uh, the intensity of, of Justin on the ground and striking, you could tell he had a little more intention, mm -hmm. like he was envisioning his opponent a lot more than, than, uh, Jerry was. But Jerry's technical ability seemed to be a, a little more advanced than than Justin's. Now, in a real fight, that does you know. Again, it's the one that wants it and the one that has the intention. But as far as as technical abilities go, I think I think Jerry Jerry would have won this match because of the fact that he's more technically all around, whereas Justin's intensity was very strong. Uh, and sometimes that's all you need, just a couple hard punches, uh, a good takedown and ground and pound, and that could be the end of the fight. But as far as shadow boxing and a portrayal of overall MMA skills, I would have to give it to Jerry over Justin. And the winner is by split decision from the blue corner of Team Capaguay MMA, Jerry Guzman. <laughs> this event is brought to you by MMA Dabao. Special thanks to the following. Guan Pro C, boost your immune system. Ole the Iron Fist Lorison, former Muay Thai European World Champion and K1 veteran. Visit Legacy Gym Boracay, Philippines, Legacy Gym Ubon, Thailand, and Legacy Gym Copenhagen. Offering world-class MMA and BJJ class and training facility with the roots of hardcore Muay Thai. Mark Anthony Munoz, former UFC fighter, congratulations on his film, Lumpia with a Vengeance. Prof. Juan Mercado, Professional MMA coach, trainer, peak performance coach for Puerto Rico's national team BJJ, judo bearing Brazilian Jiu Jitsu Puerto Rico, and team La Perla Boxing MMA. Guy Chase of Guy Chase Academy of Martial Arts. The Guy Chase Academy of Martial Arts is among the very select few institutions in the United States officially recognized for its instructions. In Jet Kundo, French Sabate, Filipino Kali, Indonesian Silat, Muay Thai, Gotch Submission, Shoot Fighting, and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Eric Paulson, founder of Combat Submission Wrestling, headquarters is at 4080 North Palm Street, Fullerton, California. CSW is one of the best MMA schools in the world with top-notch facility and a friendly and knowledgeable staff. Subscribe to his online CSW course at https